Hey there, Deal here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Today, I'm bringing you out to a project we have going on in Irvine. I am super excited to showcase this property to you because what we're doing is removing an existing solar system that doesn't quite meet the customer's needs. This system's over 10 years old and their current energy usage has kind of tripled since they've gotten it. Many of those improvements that they've made to their home included a pool and purchasing an electric vehicle. So it made sense for them to upgrade these older panels that barely produce 200 watts. They also had a central string inverter. So what this customer decided on was to just go all out with a whole new system that's just shy of 18 kilowatts and add whole home battery backup with a smart panel. So as the days progress, we're going to be showcasing to you this entire project because it's very unique in what we don't typically see is a system being removed. I've taken some drone footage to show you so you can see how many panels we're removing. And then at the end, you'll see all the new panels that are going up. This system is crazy and I'm super excited to actually be showcasing it to you. For those of you that are interested in going solar and getting a quote, then use that link down in the description below. We make it easy and very affordable for you to make the switch to renewable energy. Plus, we are certified for eight different battery backup systems. And the reasoning for that is because there's a product for everybody's budget, at least in my opinion. And if it's not, at least you can get in a position to add batteries in the future when they come down in price, because we do expect batteries to continue to degree decrease Increase over the course of the next five to seven years. Heck, they will eventually get to a point where everybody's going to have batteries on their home and be completely independent from the utility grid. It will be an awesome day when that occurs. But you got to start with a solar system. So go ahead and use that link down below. All right, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of walk you through what's changing up on the roof and see how this old system was installed. It is worth noting that this is an older sun power system that was installed a little over 10 years ago. So what we're going to primarily be doing is removing the panels, as you can tell, and then we're going to be adjusting the racking because this is going with the rafters and the trusses in the attic, and we're gonna be going against them. So we'll be going perpendicular rather than parallel. This is a different style of mounting panels. It's great for some situations. It's pretty common on older systems to see the railing go this way. In today's railing methods, you usually go perpendicular. And it's also better structurally because you're not putting so much weight or so many penetrations on the same truss. You're actually skipping every other one for the most part. And that really is beneficial for the loads of the home that's taking on the solar. So let's take a closer look at how this system was installed at least. All right, so looking closer in on these rails, you can see how they were attached to the roof. So what we have here is a flashing with a rubber seal and then a post that comes out. Uh, and you know, this post, there's definitely a base under this area that's actually attaching it to the truss. You know, the truss is right here. And then what you can see is that the railing had holes in it in places so that way you could lag it right to it. Now most racking today has an L foot that you would actually attach. So you'd have a foot come off and then the railing's gonna go in the other direction. It's very cool how this was done, um, but you know, with how many panels we're fitting, landscape is just not going to be an ideal method. 
And you can see the condition of the roof's pretty good for the area that's been under the array. I mean, it's dirty, but it's, it's really good. So it was definitely a good project 10 plus years ago. But today, you know, this little seven, eight kilowatt solar system is just not quite cutting it for this customer.